So we're in a different garage today, but for today's video, we're gonna be installing the StopTech Big Brake Kit on the 2013 Honda Civic Si. All right, so this man is disassembling his original brake system. Started out with taking off the caliper, removed the OEM brake pads. Well, actually, I don't know if they're OEM, but screw it. Yeah, man, OEM. Okay, they're OEM. Ow. Another brake pad. All right, so here's the full, full system right there. It's way smaller than what he's about to put on. There's the stock rotor, and then this is the StopTech provided rotor. It's way bigger. I don't know how much heavier it is, but look at that. The girth is yeah, the girth. way bigger. So he's test fitting the bracket for the caliper right now. Looks to be spot on for the fitment, hopefully. Yeah, it goes behind. I'll just do it lightly just to mock it up. Okay, okay. Dry test fit. Dry <laughs> test fit. So far, so good. The holes line up. I think I'm gonna have to trim this. Oh my gosh, that's wow. a monster. Dude, that looks nice though. <laughs> All right, hold on. This is the first test fit of the StopTech caliper onto the assembly. Looks really good. The red really pops, and I'm sure when he has the RPFs back on, it'll pop even more. Oh, oh yeah. okay. Here's a little bit of a closer look. It's, it's a pretty tight fit, honestly. It's not tightened down. So. Yeah, it's not tightened down, so... That's the mock-up right there. We'll see. This is a 22 offset? 22, yeah. What is Twitchero? So it seems that the dust shield is a problem when it comes to fitment for this kit. So if you plan on using it, you're gonna have to trim this a good amount so that it'll clear. Oh, it's still it, rubbing it's a little. Still uh, something. Might as well cut this top portion too, since I'm already here. All right, third time's the charm. So let's see if it fits without any interference. Still, huh? All right, fourth time's the charm. God damn it. <laughs> really? Oh man, still some interference. You might have to cut the whole thing off, damn. Fifth time is the charm. Really? I'm just kidding. I'm just starting to narrate really? what you say. <laughs> Sixth time is the charm. Yep. There we go. Oh, Finally. Nice. Rip to this man's dust shield though. Right now he's loosening the bolts so that he can take off the bridge and fit in the brake pads. <laughs> On the left is the stock pad and then this is the stop tech pad. Even though the stop tech pad is smaller, because of the four piston caliper and the bigger rotor, the braking power and stopping power will still be much better. Brake pads going in. Oh, seems to be kind of a tight fit. So just get a mallet like this man is doing and get that in. All right, here's the second one. So now you put the bridge over, now that the brake pads are in, and then you just get the bolts. He used some grease so that they don't seize, but once it's all tightened down, the caliper assembly is basically done. 
Here are the stainless steel lines that StopTech provided. He's gonna be draining out the brake fluid and then installing these ones. So this part goes to the back of the caliper and then it attaches through that bolt. So the stainless steel lines takes about 15 minutes. It is a little bit messy, but it's probably one of the easier parts of the install. So yeah, we're gonna go on to the next side. This guy got this side done in like 15 minutes as opposed to 35 to 40 on the other side. All right, so excuse the dirty scale, but we want to see how the OEM components st stack up with the stop tech. So that's about 18 pounds, give or take. No, actually that's like 16. Wow, 20. So four All pounds right. more. About, yeah, about four pounds more. The caliper with the bracket, it's about 11 pounds. Not bad. Yeah, it's lighter. Oh, shit. Oh my gosh. Okay, it's it's a bit lighter. It's, let's see, it's eight pounds versus 11, so three pounds difference. Okay, so after weighing out the OEM brake kit with the StopTech kit, we actually found that there's only a pound difference between them, and these are definitely gonna stop much better, so. One pound versus the stopping power, this is definitely worth it. So once again, he's getting the bracket to fit on the caliper. It's a direct bolt-on, which is good. So you don't really have to mess with anything to get the fitment right. into those uh, bolts make sure it doesn't seize when this guy is tracking <laughs> I 
you want an extra wheel? Yeah. You want to do a four leg conversion? <laughs> I have one for you, right? Hold on, hold on. It's like a Chipotle style. That sounds kind of good. It's really good. It's like Chipotle, but it's like, uh, I don't know. <laughs> Tire chunks. I know. <laughs> Both sides are done for the big brake kit. So now Francis is just draining the blue brake fluid so he can put in the new one. Don't tell him my real name, bro. Oh, really? Okay. Right. No, just kidding. <laughs> I'm kidding. <laughs> Got the water bottle method in place. So how long do you think it's going to take to uh, drain the brake fluid? To bleed everything? Yeah. Oh. 30, 45 minutes. Press. Ooh. Lots of air. Let go. Press. Let go. So Press. this is actually the brake fluid that he'll be using. It's endless, called the uh, RF650. It's racing super fluid, so we'll Let see go. if it's any better than the one he's using now. The level's still fine. Okay. Press. Let go. And press. Let go. Press. Let go. Press. Oh my gosh. Look Release. At that brake fluid. <laughs> Ew. Looks like milk. Press. Yes, yeah, gross. Release. Press. Release. Press. How much brake fluid has been building up in the water bottle? So how much well, did this run you, bro? The, the brake fluid. Dude, 40 bucks a bottle. 40 bucks a bottle. Ooh, All right, this better freaking get us into sub two, boy. Fucking expensive. So that's how much brake fluid they got out of the front. Now we had to start a new bottle for the rear. Press. Release. Press. Release. I think it's getting clearer. Yeah, it is. Press. All four corners have been bled, so now all that's left is to put the wheels on, and then uh, we're basically done with this install. It's just like changing out your pads, basically. Pads and rotors. Okay. Nothing weird. Oh. Who that? Oh, I forgot something. So he's put this wheel on and off about 10 times, but this is the last time, because the install is done. So that's what it looks like in the sun. It's looking pretty damn fire. <laughs> Let us know in the comments what you guys think. But this is gonna conclude the Stop Tech Big Brake Kit installation on the 2013 Honda Civic Si.